and it's fun to play. Medivh Illidan? Oh. The level 20 I took was uh, ability power and mana for everyone around me. <laughs> Garrox. Tomb of the Spider Queen. Let's remove Keltas. Hello, stream. I'm a girl. I am a uh, it is time. mammal. When should I take Epicenter on the note? If you took Andy King at 4, just take Epicenter. Oh, easy. Let the games begin. No, no, no. Never say Illidan if you know how to play him. Never say that to a teammate. I'm here to help. And there you go. Easy Jaina player. Now, occasionally, that does not result in loss. Sometimes. The crusade. I can't goes. wait for that either, Shadow Flare. Dat is het leuke ervan, Kaudi Borda. Maar laten we niet te veel de illusie doorbreken door te zeggen dat lul in het Nederlands een andere betekenis heeft. Laat het een klein onder onsje blijven, Kaudi Borda. Wacht, gaat hij echt Nova pakken? Is hij really going to take Nova? Haven't played for a while. What makes Rex survival now? And when should you pick Arthas and Anub? They're all good. I would say they're all top six warrior. Uh, Rex are go. Oh, ban, 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 ban. Ban Zagara. The reason that Rexar is good now, he got a small buff. L Leash increase. Are we really going Nova? Oh, he's a girl. He needs uh, something. It is something. I'm sure. Are we really going Nova against the tankiest team I've ever seen? Nova, please. Locked and loaded. Okay. I said Nova. No Nova. You think Arcane Charge at 7 is better than the quest? Let's take a look. I took the quest because people wanted it. So, 100 damage and cooldown reduction. So the damage itself is probably 30 to 15 percent depending on when you get it. 30. Uh, and like late game, I did 572, so it's less than 20 percent. And this one's 25. But it starts working immediately. But this one, without a doubt, is better later. Because the percentage is similar. If you get the quest early, the percentage is better. And it's I will fight to my last breath. also working when you didn't last miss. Unlike Arcane Charge. And 2 second cooldown to 1. Like 7 to 2 to 1 instead of 7 to 2. So basically the master's touch is for pros and arcane charge is for early game and the blitz. Well, it looks like a pretty good team. They're screwed, I think. Go easy on us, please, says Clickteon. Who is that? Clickteon. Sonia. Ha. <laughs> ha. 
While on level 20, you can give an unbreakable cloak to someone with invisibility and force of will. I don't think so. Because cloak is based on... Not, not, not taking... Losing HP, but taking damage. I think they can still be revealed. It's as if it's an infinite HP shield. Just stop thinking about all the interactions that Force of Will Come somehow on, is something Let's that go gets you out of the matrix. Out of the One rules of normal play. It isn't. It's a infinite you HP shield. That's it. Does a Tassadar shield an invisible person get revealed if you multi-shot him? Yes. So I imagine it's the same with Force of Will. Battle begins in ten Enjoy seconds. these last few moments. Uh, we will go for Mana Adept again. Actually, it's kind of good with Nova, Medivh. Place? My magic is not to be trifled. Man, you're fun at parties. Thanks. <laughs> shadow moons. It doesn't cost any mana. Confirmed really a girl. <laughs> hey, can I pick up gems in crow form? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> you can soak XP in crow form, yes. <laughs> what the hell did he just do? Please. <laughs> Stages wants to play. Oh, that play made me saliva. <laughs> I am actually getting giddy here. That was too good. Are howling. A great shadow moon. <laughs> so I'm the solo laner, huh? Get the same one again, bird's eye view. No interactions. It's, it's completely safe, it just costs a lot of mana. Oh, I can't take gems. If you're diving with the portal block can be good, if that's how you want to play it. Oh, I sh if I was just a second faster. Fate waits for me. Nice. 
Okay. Easy back. peasy, bros. What's the mana cost of the shield? 50. Force of will deals area damage when it absorbs. Using a portal gives a basic attack. No, oh, I'm going to Master's Touch again. A minion walked through my portal? Wow. I think you're wrong. I think that was a skeleton, but that would be pretty sick. That was true. down there they just burned all their damage on me did you see how much it took off it's pretty nice to bait out damage like that send one person through and then just force of will oh, I, i'm feeling the potential here i'm already at a lot of stacks I kind of like the Nova pick here, actually. God, Medit is so cool. Don't let anyone tell you he's not. Sure, they summoned web weavers, but we were having fun. God, he's so cool. So fun. Exemplary healing. Unless you are about to die of famine, you need to spend all your money to buy this hero right now. Yeah, this seems really good, Gujira. I think I will try that. in two places Thank you. I will set things right I get polybomb Okay, he died instantly goodbye polybomb I already finished my quest nice I need a bit of mana, I think. What do you think? It is time I return to our core. 1.8k prevented? Wow, that's sick. Are they paying again? Almost. Almost. I'm glad that the portal is, has priority when you click it over any hero that is blocking on it. Ah, uh, they're getting it. Thank you, I still have a few tricks on my side. 
I will not accept defeat. Oh, nice. It's so funny, you can just drop out of crow form to attack somebody. Descend, my daughters. Descend and destroy. Pretty small vision without the bonus. Celerity again. Celerity is healthy for you. Excelsior? Did you just say that? Cooldown is pretty low. 40 seconds of Polybomb. That's crazy. Second, guys. Every second I can queue. That's crazy. If any tips for playing against Sergeant Hammer, I always have a tough time against her. Yeah, get a warrior that can displace her, like uh, Chen, Stitches, Diablo. Those are pretty scary for uh, her. I guess Diablo so so because she can W away. You have to hard engage her. The biggest mistake I see people play against Hammer as a, an avid Hammer player is to poke in and out of her range. You either go in with a definite purpose or you go out. You never go in and out on the edge. The winds of I don't know exactly what I did there, but... Okay. Man, Portal has playmaking potential, even for uncoordinated teams, as long as they just go through and you can use it. Let's try uh, Force of Will on everybody. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh, wow. Deep seems really fun and pretty strong. Against the right teams, there's almost nothing they can do. Like, okay, they don't have a stun team, but if it's terrible against it. You can save people with it. Things right. Beta bomb prison. You 
can just drop out of the sky and polymorph someone. Isn't that funny? Greyman, Liming do nothing against you if you use the Nadif has a solo support, I would not recommend it. Uh, oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> that ring of frost. <laughs> okay, so stuns can kind of stop those kind of shenanigans. No, the portal is not an alt, it's a 20 second cooldown. Stuns. Everyone's only weakness. You went full slam build on stitches too. Hey, I was the only one that didn't die yet. Oh. Hey, decent damage. Only game like this, of course. This conflict has not yet. Yeah, I can show the level twenties. So basically, it explodes sooner and the radius increase. Or you can remove, like redirect, and have a longer stasis. Q just insta kills, catapults, and minions, which is pretty cool. Ten percent ability power, two hundred mana to everyone, including yourself, around you. And then twenty second invisibility, which could be pretty cool, on Nova. Imagine a hero like Nova that's also invisible. Five seven six absorb. Nice. I will endeavor to return. Oh, no level twenty. No level twenty. I'm not a girl. After all, the truth comes out. Yeah, Nova with stealth would be good, but can you imagine a champion like Zeratul with stealth? Yeah, that would be sick. Do you think he will be viable option in ranked? Uh, hey Josh, I think so, yes. Now, this is just a, a random game, right? That we were winning all game, but basically the damage is alright. I add mobility, some shielding, I'm a new player on the Deef. I add vision. I think uh, I think he's good. That was fun. Imagine Oh man, I mean I know we saw it in the video already. Everyone's thought of this. I'm not I'm not creative here, but other than the Deef, every five seconds, one and a half second shield. Infinite shield. Uh, Medivh is a specialist, a supportive specialist, or a special support, but his role is specialist.
He's a midget. He is rather short, yes. Damage seems good, right? His Q and W are enough to make him viable. Portals only make him better. I think so. Now, of course, I wanted to say he has no escape, but that's not true. Only thing he doesn't have escape against is Stun Train. But the thing about Stun Train, the first one and a half seconds, if you predate the first stun, the W, you can get stunned a lot, which in theory could stop you from entering your portal. If they start damaging you at the beginning of the stun train that won't do anything, they have to save some for later. I think there's a great value in throwing an idiot in front of the team. It can be yourself. It's like, oh no, I'm out of position. And then suddenly W, force of will. They soak up all the abilities and then you win the fight because the opponent's on cooldown. That actually happens a lot this game. But of course people don't know how to play against them yet. I just come through the portal like in the middle of four people with semi-relevant stunts. Not too relevant. Like, hello. And then they're like, Grayman is like, Arr! And then my team wrecks him. His damage is meaningful. If you can do like a... What was I doing? Like 400 damage Q every every second? Like, of course, that's really good. Yeah, you can build them damaging oriented. That's what we just did. You can have a one second cooldown on his Q. But his HP pool, of course. Like, let's say if Medivh turns out to be weak. Because I'm always... Oh, sorry, Logan. I will not fail humanity I'm always uh, positive about a new hero when they come out. But let's say if he turns out to be weak. He only needs an HP buff to be viable. Because, like, can you really stand there and spam Q? And his wave clear is weak. So, this was like a full fighting game, but yeah, probably he will be like tier 3. Which, a character like Medivh's mobility allows, he needs to be tier 3. If he's tier 1, that's broken. If he's tier 2, that's broken. Because of uh, Portal. Same with Stitches. Once Stitches does top damage, then he will be broken, because he has Hook. And Hook can win a game at level 16. I'm in the cocoon again. Cut us, cut us. I wasted my E. I have to go out. Nice job, Stitches back on. She's dead. No, she's... Stitches, don't hook! There's no point in hook. She was already dead. 